We've conquered Iberia. Well, most of Iberia. And uh, right now we are setting our sights into Persia, mostly just to get that sweet, sweet trade flowing. You know, more money, so that way we can win more. Uh, but yeah, welcome back everybody to uh, Byzantium here in EU4. I hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I do see we've got some men over here that are uh, sieging down some forts over here. So we're going to get our boys over in this direction. Ten person. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. All right. Sounds good. We'll... That would have been more useful if I had um, a war with Poland at that time. Look at that discipline. Where are we at? 135 percent. That's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, war score is uh, misleading, mostly just because he's got ticking war score from me not having his capital. I will have his capital. Just a short order. We just got to make our way over there. Got to win a couple of sieges and get over in that direction. He was at 160 some thousand men, so now they have no manpower and they've cut their army in half. Here is a large portion of their army, though, so let's track them down and kill them. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. So those guys are dead. Let's track these guys down now. Half off trade efficiency guy. Say no more, fam. Is this guy half off? No, but this one is. So let's take him. Oh, he's not an accepted culture. Croatian. All right, I'll do it. Screw it. Because that'll let me get him to level five. Matter of fact, I should get them all to level five. We. It's not like we're short on cash. Right, where are you guys fleeing off to? Theodosia. Okay, they are running down here. Where are you going for real? Why do I have to force march all this way? Make me waste my mill mana. Which we're short on, you know? Let's get these guys off these forts, of course. Yeah, they fled to Shirvan. Let's get you guys out of here. Yep, perfect. Those guys are going to get absolutely bopped. <laughs> Safe to say. Um, and now we get everybody split up and start sieging down stuff over here. They have... I just don't understand. Why do they have so many men? Like, it does not make sense to me that they have so many freaking men, bro. It's actually insane. All right. Let's get you guys off that fort over here. This is my land. You cannot have it. There is another 60 stack right here. That must be basically his entire army. Get over here into Ganja, which, if you did not know, I can't uh, turn on debug mode because we're in Iron Man. Province ID 420. It's a good meme. It's a very good meme. All right, these guys are being annoying. This is mountains, but um, I'm willing to do it. I probably don't need to be forced marching, though. I say as I'm about to force march to track these guys down. Yep. Guzik Mook, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's get on to Shirvan and then get you guys over here. We stack wipe? No, nope, no stack wipe. You don't, you don't get stack wipes on armies that you got number three to one anymore. It doesn't happen. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, I'm... Anything you get, like those events from the trade, trade companies are annoying. I, I recommend against it. Go ahead and get you guys over here. Get rid of the cavalry. Now, a nice reason, another reason, hey, 420, the reason why you get rid of your cavalry is because they are expensive. And uh, if you're going to have cannons, oh, right, I forgot about these guys. If you're going to have cannons, you might as well, um, you know, use the cannons to uh, use them, right? If you have cannons, they cost money. Cavalry also costs money. But if you use, get rid of the can cavalry and you spend that money on cannons, it's money well spent, in my opinion. All right, so, yeah, these guys are not making siege progress. So, here, level six fort, and uh, they are no nowhere near strong enough to siege them down. Now, I should probably upgrade some forts over here. This fort in this Weska province can get deleted, because this province here gets this one. Yep, so let's go ahead and delete that. And I can delete some of these forts in here, but I don't really feel like it. So this province here communicates with Toledo. Toledo does not communicate over here. So Salamanca is Highland, so let's build that there. This is for Portugal, eventually. These guys here, that means we can get rid of these two forts. Don't need them anymore. It's a nice way to, to save a bit of money, is to uh, delete forts that you don't need anymore. It just requires a bit of micro, that's all. 
Make sure we cover our coastlines. Uh-huh. Probably could get one over here in like Sirt. Get rid of the church. Build a fort. And uh, upgrade Constantinople. Upgrade Castoria. Get rid of Gallipoli. Get rid of this one here. And uh, take a look here. I like to keep the coastal ones just to make sure. But some of these internal guys are not super necessary. Like this one we'll keep because it's mountains. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. This is a good fort. Uh, looks like we have furnaces unlocked. We have coal? Since when? Oh my gosh. Well, if we have coal... Oh, because we embrace the Enlightenment. I'm so silly. So what we need to do is we need to develop this province here up to 20 dev. Uh, let's go ahead and put that there. And that will spawn coal there. Come on, baby. Same with this. Uh, we should get coal pretty soon. Let me see here. It will tell you, actually. Enlightenment is present in that province. Ah, okay. So it is almost there. Well, it's because I developed it. But yes, that's good. And then how far off are we here? Enlightenment is present. So coal has spawned. Let's go, dude. So that means we have two coal provinces. Georgia, we'll get that one eventually for them. So if you do not know, you build furnaces in coal provinces. This one eventually... Coal furnaces give you plus 5% global goods produced. So 10% more trade value from every single province. This value will go up by 2.5 or 0.25 every province. And provinces that make a lot right, right here, 0.4, 4.4. So 10% more trade value going into the node and we collect more. So goods produced is the best scaling late game modifier. You want to maximize it and you will make progress. Like you will be absolutely just gangbusters with the money if you can get uh, your goods produced stacked up so that is something you definitely want to make sure you're putting emphasis on all right these guys have a giant stack over here again i am so annoyed at how many men they have and this army over here all right let's make sure we give that fort over to georgia and let's get these guys also off of my fort here in his and kaifa they're probably gonna run no they're not nice get our best general on you upgrading our cannon soon would be very nice where are you guys going huh you gonna help your buddies all right let's get down here and have you guys over here and here this is most of their entire army right here so we're good This is like all mountains. It's annoying. It's very annoying how many men they have over here. All right, I guess these guys are going to track them down. Try to fight them in a province that is not uh, minus, minus two for me. I'll take the Diplomana. Sounds good. Admin guy is dead. Let's go ahead and keep our uh, conversion guy. Perfect. Track as many of them down now that we are in the steps. And I got stack wiped somewhere. You are so freaking annoying, bro. I am so... So, so sick of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Get a general on you. We just need to siege down a couple of forts. Very good. Spinning Jenny. The swing plow. Let's go, dude. We're getting all these events to give us a ton more manufacturing. It's great. You'll love to see it, folks. I know I do. Uh-huh. Ragusa is fine. I don't want to be building anything in Carpathia, though. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Build these buildings. More money is more money. I like money. Iberia, definitely, eventually. Um, is it all converted? It is. So let's add you guys all. And add you guys all. Now, this is... get. We're going to be getting to the point now where we, where we do really need to be considering our uh, governing capacity. All we need to do is come over here and siege down his capital. He's got rebels as well. His friends want out of the war. Sin specifically, I definitely want to piece out separately because I can't... Um, I don't really want to go over and siege him down. Corsan, I will ser certainly just white piece as well. Let's see here. Good. Great Horde is over here. They've migrated. That's funny. We have an unused merchant. So let's see here. Where's a good place? Probably... Let's 
transfer from Ethiopia. That should probably be pretty good. Now we'll increase the uh, trade steering up this way. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, baby. We're making it, making it happen. Now we're off almost to... Uh, we're doing better. All right. Give that fort to Georgia. Come over here. Siege down this fort with his army with no general. Mine got. Let's barrage these walls because I am sick of this freaking guy. Lose some mana. I'm not going to lose the stability if I don't need to. You guys can kiss my butt. Yep. Meanwhile, they're going to... How in the world? Oh, it's only a level 2 fort. I'm like, that explains it. Luckily for us, their siege ticks are very long, while ours are not. Cool. I love those uh, events to give us the industrialization events. A disease outbreak, like you do. Watch them win this 14 percenter before we win his capital. All right, cool. So I'm going to give myself... Well, first of all, I will give Georgia all of this, but I will take all of this for myself. Of course, I got to get them off that fort. Anything I plan to take for myself, I have to transfer the occupation to myself. So I'm only going to give them these three, and I'm going to take the rest. Come on now, 35%. Can I get there in time? All right, we did. Very good. Very good. Wait. Oh, it's Georgia. Does that not look like Muscovy's flag right there? It does a little bit. It looks pretty orange. Does not look very red in that little image there, but that's fine. Yeah, stack wipe his army. Screw him. All right. Anyways, we're going to go this, and I will take all of this. I cannot core it right. Really? Is that how this works? How far off am I from ignoring core distance? Um, I suppose we can probably just sit in this war for a bit. Yeah, let's just sit in this uh, war for a bit. We have call for pizza, but I don't really care. Upgrade our cannons. All right. You guys are over here at war. Oh, this is my chance right here. All right. Let's have you guys over here with some generals, of course. They are left alone. It looks like they lost the personal union somewhere along the line, which is good. Province is part of the empire. It belongs to the Commonwealth, whose capital is not part of the empire. How does that happen? The Commonwealth must have become the emperor or something? Yeah, they must have. I missed it. Interesting. I, uh, I actually don't know how that happens. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's make sure we are building our trade company investments over here. The more trade power we have, the more we propagate that that trade power upstream and make more money. More trade power means we steer more trade, which means we make more money from the trade that we do have. Basically, it makes your trade, your your uh, stuff more efficient, essentially. So how many men you got? 120,000 they have. We should definitely get an army over here. No need to force march, though. Let's just have you guys march regular. Take a little bit of attrition to assert your dominance. Now, I'm just waiting on um, this unrestricted conquest. That way I can take that land over there. Right, and we should probably make sure that our ships are upgraded. It's been a minute since I've looked. Definitely. I'll take the innovativeness. That's fine. One more month, I can upgrade our ships. Uh, do I need the Patriarch Authority? Probably not. A mm, little bit of inflation going down would be nice. Eh, I'll just keep, take it. It's fine. All right, so now we upgrade you guys. Get a Admiral. Attach the busted ships. Yep, we're going to have to wait for our heavies to repair. Heavies and galleys are the ones that got upgraded, so understandable. So we do have a uh, war exhaustion ticking up pretty heavily because of this call for peace. But it's fine. All we need to do is wait um, like 15 months. A year and a little over a year. We'll be good. Now, I do not want you guys to siege this stuff back. So we're going to head over. Now, let's make sure we are giving our forts over there so they don't get sieged back. I can't be asked to micro this too much. But I will micro as much as I need to. 
So, how big of an army do you have now? 48. That's a lot smaller than it was before. I'll take that. Tehran over here is dryland, so... Head on in and... Ooh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Let's, um... Get you guys, uh... Full occupied a bit. Feels good, man. Always feels good to beat up on guys like this. Eastern... Oh, it's fine. I'll improve those relations. That's never really a bad thing. Now, how much are we repaired over here? One more month and we should be good. Very good. Have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean? And that should work just fine. Let's have you guys do something like this. We've won the Siege of Genoa, so let's get over here. Milan is being sieged down currently, and we've sieged this fort down over here as well. So, we just encroach on his capital a bit. Very good. How far off am I? About uh, six or seven months. So we shall uh, sit on this. It's okay. The, the This is basically Diplo. I just buy that down. It's fine. It's like 140 Diplo. Think of it like you're you're holding on and you just got to pay a little bit of unjustified demands, right? You just convert that mana into bringing down your war exhaustion. It's easy enough. Just do it right now, even. We have no unrest, really. Yep, we're good. The unrest doesn't really even hurt us. But the reason why I want this is because it will allow me to um, core all this stuff up. Obviously, like, there's a bunch of really good ones here. This plus three artillery bonus versus four is really nice. Free force march is really nice. 20% artillery damage from the back row is incredible. Liberty desire is fine, I guess. And uh, naval engagement is good, I guess. It's not, like, bad. But now you can see we can take all of this. And I will take all of this. Easy peasy. And all your money. Because screw you, you suck. Alright, can't yoink any dev. I will convert what I can first. Go ahead and go, Defender of the Faith. I doubt we're going to get called in. I say, as I get called in, almost guaranteed. Let's, um... Conform you guys to the template here. Let's have you guys split over here. My goal is to just have as many men as possible to prevent anybody from attacking me. That's kind of what I'm going for. So let's have you guys conform as well. And then let's have you guys brought over by boats. These guys here are ready to siege. Ready to reap. Isn't that uh, Kha'Zix? Uh, mill mana. Sounds good to me. Uh, we've got plenty of Diplo to spare. So let's go ahead and get uh, culture converting. Looks like some of the Italians... No longer have separatism, and we can uh, get working on Italy. Oh, baby. This is what happens. Stack modifiers. And anybody wondering? No, we're not doing this for any reason. It's roleplay. We're doing it because we can. <laughs> not because we need to. We do not do things because they are easy. We do them because they are hard. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. We are in charge of this siege. Which is nice. This siege we are not in charge of. And my goodness, they've been on that siege for a long time. Nice for us, though, is they will likely peace out and we will instantly receive the fort. Uh, Church and Sasari. Sounds good, man. Continue to convert these lads. Let's see here. Can I upgrade this for the extra mission? Mer mich missionary? We're culture converting it. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this first. I'll use manpower for this one, and then I'll use cash for this one. We only get the missionary on the last one. Uh, I think if we take Mecca, we get another one. Yeah, we do. So we need to attack Mamluks and just take that. That way we can convert this stuff faster. It's just nice to have more. We can take hegemony. I'm not going to take economic. We're going to wait, and we're going to take military. Uh, I'm going to need to build up more buildings for that. So we're going to need more of these guys. Sadly... Yeah, that's going to be a little tough, but it's fine. Once we convert this stuff, we can add it to the trade company and probably get uh, some serious trade power steering from Persia. Like, we've, we've got a lot more than we did before, no doubt. So let's see here. Which one am I need? So Ganja, I can core all, and then just make sure we're not coring up Ganja. That way we can still convert it. And then everything else can get converted as soon as we're done with that. Now, this war over here, we will be able to um, take whatever we want. Now, hopefully these guys give up Milan pretty quickly. Now, the garrison's refilling extremely fast. They got rebels. All right, man. 
So this, what does this Duomo di Milano do? Resistance to Reformation. Oh, you got to be Christian anyway, so we won't get that bonus. My subject up here. Look at Georgia. Georgia, you are a legend, man. Shout out, Georgia. All my homies love Georgia. Let's uh, convert you. Ooh, we already are, and there you go. So everything is converted except for Ganja. So we can add these guys. The main thing I'm looking for right now is the trade, trade companies to upgrade you. And that will give us a lot more trade power already. And then we can add you guys here. Add that as well. Some good trade goods. And that means every state now. So now after I convert Ganja, I'll just add all everything I own to the trade company and it will fill these guys all in because all these provinces, these states already received these bonuses, right? Now, how far off are we from uh, Maghreb? 34? No, it's Mashriq is what I'm looking at. 28, okay. We'll be able to upgrade a couple of those. It's not a big deal. Milan has an army over here. Chilling. These guys are being a little uh, stubborn. Let's go up here and siege down his forts because, of course. Like, this war with Milan is just us versus them. It's not a big deal. There you go. And now we can add all because every province that we own is of our the religion that we want it to be. And uh, they're all receiving the bonuses now. So that 28 went up to 40. Not bad. Uh, once we build a couple of trade buildings over here, I reckon. Oh, we've got them all. My goodness. That is crazy, actually. <laughs> that is crazy. All right. Let's build a couple of these guys. Specifically on the uh, provinces that have trade um, bonuses. I could collect a bit more trade over here. Eh. Uh, Ragusa needs one. So let's go ahead and get rid of the church here and build you. How much will we get from it? Nice. That's good. These guys right here are both centers of trade. Belgrade as well. Oh, Belgrade right here. So we need to delete the church there, you know, delete churches, build, <laughs> reject churches, embrace uh, trade buildings. <laughs> That's how we do it here. Um, 600. So last I looked, it was like 400 something. So we are making over a thousand, almost 1100 ducats a month, netting 475, almost 500. Very crazy. And now again, I'm not going to be taking this. We are waiting until we can get military hegemon because military hegemon is really strong. I feel like a million might be a little much to be honest with you. It's economic is by far the easiest to get. And in my opinion, it is probably the best because economic allows you to just win more. You get the governing capacity, goods produced, uh, minimum autonomy and territory. So basically, you just become much stronger. Now, the monthly war exhaustion is nice. Foreign spy detection, eh. Merc manpower is trash. Over here, let's take a look here. You get the same things. You get monthly war exhaustion and foreign spy detection, but you get 10% province war score cost, which is good. 20% uh, siege ability once you get it stacked up all the way after 100 months. 10% movement speed, less attrition, and national unrest. So it makes you more stable. So we're going to try it. I usually don't do it, but, um, you know, Imperial Romanum and all that. Let's go ahead and build this over here. And as far as um, trade goods go, there's a little coal over here. Looks like that's all we've got for now. Okay, that is fine. That is fine with me. Now, these guys here need to uh, obviously win in sieges up here. Give the forts over to Georgia. The ones that I don't plan to take, at least. These guys are winning a siege over here. Now, I'm going to take... Hmm, we'll see. We'll see what we're able to take here. Now, what I'd like to do is take everything that I have claims on. But... Uh, oh, yeah. We can do that. AE might get us a coalition. But uh, at this point, is AE anything but a number? I think not. Nice. We swung in this war in their favor. Almost guaranteed. All right. These guys... <laughs> Been sitting on this fort for over two years now. I don't know. Uh, okay, man. Let's go ahead and have you guys. Well, right. Let's um build that supply depot there so they don't take as much attrition. Five five prestige is a uh, reasonable losses, acceptable losses. These guys are still taking all that attrition. Feels bad. It's fine. All right. 
Definitely need to make sure we are building as many of these as possible here. That is more trade goods for us. More money, please. We are making almost 500 a month now. And then we are making over 500 and, and 500 a month now. Look at that trade income. That's the crazy part right there. 671. And building these buildings is only making us more money, right? This is why trade companies are so overpowered. When they switched it in Emperor so you could trade company everything, I was blown away. Absolutely blown away. Um, yeah, I suppose we can build that there in Constantinople. I reckon we're probably steering quite a bit more trade from here. There's so much trade that we are losing here, man. If I got some trade power up here, so like, let's see here. If I upgrade this trade center... So if you get a little bit more trade power upstream, it would go a lot better. So let's go ahead and delete the church here and build a trade building. So you can see here, we will get 10%, 10 more trade power up here, uh, which will, the more trade power you have here, the more that you can kind of prevent trade from uh, kind of sp spilling over, so to speak. Uh, this is only nine development. Let's go ahead and add you as well. The more trade power we have up here, the better. Now, we're culture converting some stuff as well, so easier said than done for some of this. But yeah, these two guys need to get upgraded, and that will be totally fine. I'm losing sieges? Oh, come on. <laughs> they won the siege. I, would, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, it's fine. We'll have uh, this army head over here. I definitely was not paying attention that they had actually brought more men over. Did They, they still haven't pieced out with France, so... Their war exhaustion has to be explosive. They, they're they buying it down almost certainly. It's fine. We outnumber them, though. No big deal. Uh, canals and stuff. What the heck? That's a lot of money. I do not think so. Let's get over here. This is woods. Can I attack them in the farmlands? I can. Perfect. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I must have rolled really bad because they were shredding me there for a second. Let's get down here. Yep, very good. This is a level 8 fort, so it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt cheeks to a siege down. But France pieced out and um, gave us all the occupations there. So we're going to take all of this. AE is but a number. So just like that, we have taken over that. I will yoink the dev from Lombardy. Makes it cheaper to core. Overextension is reasonable, in my opinion. Um, let's have you guys come on over here. You guys come on over here. You guys come on over here. Basically, I just want to get as many men over here because we're going to have rebels. There's, it's uh, unavoidable, but it's fine. We're coring it up and then we will get it, um, nice morale of armies. Then we will get it, um, converted. All is well, all is well. Let's build a couple of these buildings to, uh, make sure we're keeping our governing capacity in check. You can, as long as you are building these buildings, you can trade company most stuff. It's, it's really not an issue. So a bit of a longer episode, but boy, have we grown. We took over all of this land over here in Persia. So we're going to get very, very rich very, very quickly. We also need to upgrade these guys here uh, when I have the development available. So let's go ahead and click that button here. Click this button here. So 65 ducats over, steering out will turn into like 62 or something like that. 64. So it went down a little bit. Coalition is forming. I do not care. We'll sort it out. All right, guys. If you are enjoying and you want to see more, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more content. Ding the bell. Join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. Those things are all linked in the description below. And if you want to support me, my Patreon is linked below as well. But that's all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.